Elliot Sprague. Welcome to realstrategic.com and this training is going to teach you how to get found by your marketplace with your videos on YouTube. And you simply need to be learning how to optimize your video for YouTube. Now a lot of people actually will create great videos and great content. The problem is, is they just don't know how to optimize it correctly. So if you're looking to optimize a YouTube video, this is going to really help you. So we really want to start by not just making up or thinking about what the market is thinking about. We want to know what the market is thinking about. We want to understand what they're trying to get solved and what their problems are. And the way we actually figure out the market's problems is really easy. We just go to Google and Google's going to tell us. We're going to type in Google Keyword Tool. And the actual third one or second one, depending on what day it is, it's googlekeywordtool.com and we're going to click on it. And the very first thing you're going to see here is Google's keyword tool. And we're going to ask Google, what in the world is our target market searching for? So I want to tell you, it wants to know if I'm a human or not. So we just put the uh, capture code in. Okay, so let's think of a company that's the tons of them all over the U.S. Um, maybe a jeweler or, you know, how about a carpet cleaner? Let's see your carpet cleaner uh, in Florida. And um, you know you're trying to create a video to help people understand the you know why steam cleaning or a certain way of steam cleaning your carpet is better than another. So you actually you know take your little iPhone or your Android and you're going to video that. Now you put it up on YouTube and it's never going to get found unless you go through this process of optimizing your YouTube video correctly. So what we want to do is we actually want to type in what we think our market is looking for. So it might be a carpet cleaner. Say carpet cleaner, West Palm Beach. So let's do a search. And you can see here, there's about 110 people that type that keyword in every single month. So I mean, that's not a lot, but you know, it's 110 free leads potentially, if you know how to optimize your YouTube video correctly. So what we want to do is we actually want to take some look at some more keywords but let's just take this for example. Now if people are actually searching for that term what Google is good for and what they're and not just good for they're brilliant for is creating an algorithm that will take what people are typing in and match it with the content they're looking for. So when you create a great video you want to be able to optimize that video correctly with the right keywords. So what you want to do is actually put these words in there. Carpet Cleaner West Palm Beach. So what do you think, how could we actually name the title of our video? You wouldn't want to name it, you know, how to get your carpets clean. That would be really dumb because someone in Montana or someone in New York would learn how to get their carpets clean but they're not going to use you if you're located in West Palm Beach. You want people in West Palm Beach or whatever city you're in typing in their keywords and finding you specifically. And that, you're going to have to charge them a heck of a lot to go 3,000 miles to clean their carpet. So the point of it is, is we actually simply want to create a title that we can optimize these keywords for. So let's, um, let's try Carpet Cleaner West Palm Beach. So how about how to find? So there we go. How to find a good carpet cleaner West Palm Beach. Now we can put a colon after it and a colon won't mess up our SEO or our title at all. So we could do how to find a good carpet cleaner Jupiter, how to find a good carpet cleaner New York City. You can do whatever you want but the cool thing is is you actually have got carpet cleaner West Palm Beach is a keyword. So that's one of the first thing you want to do is optimize your titles of your YouTube video to put the correct keyword in. Now if we go to YouTube YouTube just gives away. Watch this. So if you're thinking, you know, you're a carpet cleaner, just start typing something in and watch what happens is Google, um, because Google owns YouTube, they actually will give you the most popular keywords that come up first based on the keywords that you type in. So if you're going to say carpet cleaner, watch this. So look, carpet cleaner commercial, carpet cleaner rental, carpet cleaner prank calls. So if we put in West Palm Beach, you know that no one is really looking for that content on YouTube, you know, consistently. So it hasn't really ranked in there. But we know Google owns YouTube. And so if we actually put carpet cleaner in Google here. So let's look for video. 
See, there's no video in here. There's all kinds of other stuff, but there's no video. So Google loves video. So if you actually create a video and you actually put the keywords in the title, then Google is probably going to rank you really high because there's no video here. And you can see that nothing really shows up. It kind of looks like a tax audit. So what's really good about video is it actually shows up with a nice big picture of you or your business or maybe your logo or whatever you're doing. And so that's actually how you optimize a YouTube video to actually get found. Now another thing about YouTube video, and just let me just point this out, and uh, let's try to get the uh, naked Ashton Kutcher off here real quick. Uh, let's just, Prince of Persia, let's just click on that real quick. Connect to the one home. All right, so now in the description here, you can see there's a description. So you want to make sure you put those keywords in the description as well. There are also tags that keyword that uh, YouTube asks you for. So you want to put those exact same keywords in the tags and do some alternate mixing them up. Maybe it's you know carpet cleaner, maybe it's uh, house cleaning. You know, put West Palm Beach in there. Put put whatever city that you actually do business in, so that when someone is actually doing a search, it can actually come up on YouTube and your content can get found. So hopefully those steps will really help you out in understanding how to optimize a YouTube video correctly so that you can actually get a lot more traffic and do a lot more business. Now, if you want to find out more information about actually how to develop a really good strategy and step-by-step -step even much greater detail than this, then you can actually go to realstrategic.com and we've got a great new program called Content Marketing Genius. So you can also go to contentmarketinggenius.com and get more information and actually how to not just optimize video, but how to optimize your blogs, how to optimize your articles and your podcasts. It's just a fantastic training. We got great free trainings for you. So if you're interested in getting more information on how to optimize your videos correctly and actually how to get found, go to www.realstrategic.com or you can go directly to www.contentmarketinggenius.com. Again, I'm David Sprague with Real Strategic. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this really helps you get a lot more business. Bye-bye.